Hey guys, Ronin here. Today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today, I'm going to be showcasing my favorite Yaimiko teams and testing to see whether Kirara will actually fit into one of them. And we're also going to be testing a couple of different artifact sets for Kirara as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. The, the first team we're going to be taking a look at is one I tend to use the most. It is on-field guy with official as a nice battery and additional damage. Yao Yao for Dendro application and healing and Kazaha doing Kazaha things. Have a quick look at the builds. Yai, 80 out of 80. I build too many characters and I'm free to play. I don't have a lot of level 90 characters. I, most of mine I don't even take to 81 at the moment. Yes, it's more damage. Yes, it's better stats. But... Is it worth the resources? I'm not entirely sure. Weapons, different story. Level 90 weapons are a massive damage increase. So most of my like super important weapons, I do take to 90. She's running the Skyward Atlas. She's running four piece gilded with EM, Electro, Crypt, she is C0, and she is 788. Only reason she's level 7 on her normals is because I keep forgetting to take it to 8. Official, again, 80 out of 80. She's running stringless. She doesn't care really about the EM, so I've not taken it any further. She's running 2-piece, two 2-piece, two TF, and Shimanawa. She is only C4. I never get lucky. And she is one, technically seven, and three. Why I even took the burst of three, I don't know. We only really care about Oz. Or oh, Yao Yao. Again, 80 out of 80. She's one of the few that I might actually take to 90, just because I use her in a lot of different teams, and the extra HP will help with the healing. She's on a level 80 Black Tassel. I haven't taken it to 90 because if I do manage to ever drop another copy of Five Lance, I'll put it on her. And she is running four piece tenacity because Deepwood in an aggravate team is pretty worthless. And she is also C0 because the only copy I managed to get was the free one from Landon Wright. She is one, seven, and six. Mora. Mora is always a problem. And finally, we have Kazaha to do Kazaha things. Again, level 80. I am running him on Iron Sting. Normally, I say Fav is his best weapon, but I struggle to get the EM for his buff on this team. And... If you look at his talents, the buff comes from swirling. It doesn't come from his burst. So I run the risk of not getting the extra damage from his burst so that I can have that buff. Whether it works or not, we'll see. Something I wanted to try out. So we are running him with just 155% ER. But we've got... 850 EM, which is kind of nice. He is on four piece VV. Like I said, my artifacts aren't great, which is one of the reasons why I've only taken them to 16. It's not worth the resources to take them higher. Yeah, enough about my garbage artifacts. Let's go and 
slap some bosses. Right, we will start with everyone's favourite whipping boy, the cryo reg is fine. So, rotation wise, we're going to set up the ice turrets, drop Oz, swirl Electro with Kazaha, drop Yugwe, switch into Yamiko, do Yamiko things, then the aim is to get Yamiko's burst off right as her turrets are running out to then set them again and begin the rotation all over again. Now, in this, because the rotation, the full rotation is based on Yamiko's burst timer, but really within that, you've got two smaller rotations. So, let's go. Right here, emerge. Hm. You play. you're up. I'm always watching. Right now, what? He's emerge. Down. Right here. And he's dead. I hit Yai's burst early simply because I wanted to try and finish it off. Normally, after you've swapped in to Kazuha, uh, from Kazuha to Yai, usually it would be swap, twirl with Kazuha, swap into Yai. N2C, sometimes you get a, ch a chance to do a second one and then you'll right set up your turrets right and start the rotation all over again. But it's the cryo reg fine. It dies very easily. So now we're going to refresh Yard's burst and then I think we'll go do one of my least favorite bosses in the Dendro Chicken. We have bursts. Dendro Chicken time. I hate this boss. <laughs> I suck at avoiding this boss so you're probably going to see a really nice clean run but depending on length of video I'll throw some outtakes in at the end of me dying over and over and over again emerge right now right here by royal decree that hurts! Chip, shot falling leaves. Adorn my night! I'm always watching. Right now, right here. As you wish, mate for life. Stay put! Show them. Emerge. Um, I think as you can see, the team's the pretty good. It's easy enough to pilot. You know, oh, the, the rotations yes, are fairly flexible. The way the world works. And it deals a shitload of damage. And this is one of the reasons why I always say Yai is very underrated. Team number two. This one is two ways that I run this team. It is basically you're swapping out Yao Yao for Sing Shou. Now the reason I choose Sing Shou over Yalan is because Sing Shou just gives you that defensive option, that defensive flexibility on top of his damage. All is accounted for. Let's move the other on. way I like to run this occasionally is by swapping out Fischl for Kokomi. Yes, you are losing a bit of damage by putting in Kokomi over Fischl, but in my experience with the team, you lose more damage by putting in Kokomi instead of Singshul. You don't really lose much in the way of energy generation with the eye because Singshul creates three particles each time he uses his E and I run Sing Shou with Sack Sword. We'll slap the uh, Prior Reg is fine with this setup and then we'll go do a couple of runs at the Dendro Chicken with one with this and one with Kokomi in the team. Right now. Oz 
revealed. Wind strider. Kith clouds high. The birds call. Huh? Ring cutter. Nothing lasts forever. Ha! That is ridiculous damage. I forgot how strong this team is. When people say that Taser teams aren't good. <laughs> hey, buddy, we are back. Emerge right here. My royal decree. As one with wind and cloud. Witness the power of Gowa. Shadow Raven. Let. Right now. I'm always watching. Right here. Emerge. Holy moly. Right now, right here, right now. Fallen leaves, adorn. Let me weave you a bird. Dear me, come on out. Right here. A sight to behold. Emerge, right here. Body and mouth. Know my soul. Show them. Right now. Rain cutter. Yeah, that's that's definitely slower, and the rotation is a little bit more scuffed, but. As I said earlier, you've got, with the eye teams, particularly if you've got Kazuha in there, huh, you have a little bit more flexibility with the day. rotations. <laughs> it doesn't always have to be clean. It's more about reacting to the mechanics and then being able to set up the ice turrets all over again. Being able to then swirl the electro again to get the buff with Kazaha. You could you also see on here that I didn't get Yai's burst back. Uh, to you can see I didn't get Yai's energy back to fifty percent by the end of that. Which means that by the time her burst was off cooldown, we probably wouldn't have had Most it. Most humans could have but, the entirety of their fleeting lives chronicled in but a few short lines. Their stories really make for terribly dull reading. Thanks, Yai. But one E from Kazaha, and you probably would have had it back. Now, the final team, rather than a showcase, it's a bit more of a test, and is the reason this video has taken a little bit longer than I wanted to get out. And that is to put in Kirara. So, in theory, Kirara should function really well on an aggravate team. And though she doesn't have the healing, with a full HP build, we can get a pretty decent shield. So, we've got her to level 80. We're running her on We're running her on Saxord, but I am going to swap this out for my R5 that's on Sing Show. Right now, we've got her on a four piece instructor, but I also want to test her with a four piece noblesse. She is C0, and we've got her to 177. 
and we've got a slightly different rotation here as well because we want the Kirara shield up for Yai's resistance to interruption so it'll be Kirara EQ Yai Fischl Kazaha back to Yai coming through right here emerge right now by royal decree wind strider clouds high the birds come I'm always watching right here right now right here yeah. I didn't actually activate Kirara's burst but that was still pretty impressive but Yao Yao wasn't adding much in the damage stakes so I wasn't expecting a huge difference I think if we'd actually activated Kirara's burst we might have noticed a difference so let's do that by royal decree emerge right now right here one with nature as one with wind and cloud ha. nothing lasts forever right now emerge yeah that was definitely faster definitely faster i really am feeling like a bully Right now, right here, emerge. Cut. Cut. Fallen leaves, adorn my. I'm here, please. Ugh. What a nuisance. A sight to behold. Right here, emerge. Right here. As you wish. Coming through. Ha. Yeah. Much better. So, the shield itself didn't hold up well, as you can see by Yai's health bar. But I think part of that was me not playing the mechanics properly, which, byproduct of wanting to see how the shield held up, I guess. Damage-wise, absolutely fine. And let's see how it goes with Noblesse. Hopefully last time, dude. Right now. Right here. Odd oh, Wind strike. Shut As one with wind and cloud. Show them. Uh -uh. Nothing lasts forever. Emerge. Right now. Emerge right now. Um, I think that was about the same. I have to watch the fight back, but that really did feel like about the same. So, with a stronger shield and about the same kill time on the boss, I think no bless is probably better. that we are done for today so hopefully you enjoyed the little showcases Kirara actually works really well I'm surprised at how good her shield is and yes in some 
encounters, I will probably need the healing instead. But that's mostly my skill issue more than anything, I think. As a unit, she is a functional side grade to Yao Yao. If you don't need the healing and you're running an aggravate team, she works really, really well. I would say based on my testing here, um, Noblesse is probably the way to go. If you already have someone running Noblesse, then Four Piece Instructors works equally as well. There wasn't a whole lot of outtakes, but I'll throw a couple on at the end, so stick around if you want to laugh at me dying. If not, thank you for watching. Like, sub comment, subscribe, usual things. And till the next one, goodbye.